So I feel like the most underrated piece of gear when it comes to photo and video is a tripod. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't think tripods get enough love. Sure, gimbals, filters, lenses, cool lights, they get so much more hype. And uh, I really just think tripods are kind of the unsung heroes of all those photo and video adventures. I ain't going nowhere. Tell that three-legged beauty how much how much it's done for you. And if you don't have a tripod yet, um, hopefully this video will help point you in the right direction. Got work to do. Okay, now before we dive fully into this video, there's a little bit of housekeeping we need to do. We need to give away that $1,800 in cash to a subscriber who commented on the last video. So just to remind you, we are giving away our ad dollars every single month. So let's go over to the computer, pick a comment, and let's see who wins this thing. All right, we are back here at the computer. Let's do this thing. Let's actually give away our first round of monthly ad revenue on the computer. So let's just do this. We are going to click on content. And right under here, we have TubeBuddy installed. This is our video. We are gonna do pick a winner. Running the contest on this video, yes. Choose from all comments. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, here we go. Andrew Dill, I want to spend it all it all on camera gear if I have that kind of cash. Oh my gosh, I'm honestly so excited right now. Thank you to Andrew Dill for commenting. You are getting $1,800 cash, congratulations. Um, so we'll reach out to you, make sure we'll get in contact via email and get you all set up. That was fun, uh, I honestly, that was so fun. Can't wait till next month. And uh, make sure you're subscribed, share our videos because we want to grow that pot. Okay. Back to tripod related goodness. Wow. It's gonna do. Okay, so this setup is a little bit tight. It's not really working with my diagram that I made, but I do really want this video to be helpful to you, especially if you were looking to buy a tripod. So I wanna break down the differences here. My first analogy that you can't really read is, it says Tesla here and Land Cruiser there. So a Land Cruiser, in my opinion, is like, very slow, but very reliable, can kind of get you anywhere, and it's gonna stand the test of time, because it's a Toyota. When I use this, about 10% of my films, I know it's gonna be there for me, it's not gonna let me down, it's gonna give me the nice fluid look, and it's gonna be sturdy. But daily driver, this thing, which I'll, I'm gonna show you the features of this specific tripod a little bit later, as a solo creator, you can just lock off your shot, take photos, you can get your video, and you're not needing the pan and tilt, you're not putting a massive rig on it. So this, to me, is kind of like the lightweight, sleek, has a lot of features, and is this kind of the car, or the tripod you're gonna gravitate towards on a day-to-day -day basis. So the next thing we'll talk about are the heads on these things, and that's where the one of the main differentiator is between a photo and a video tripod is the head. This is called a fluid head. There's actual fluid in it, and it lets you pan and tilt super smooth. That's a fluid head. It gives you nice smooth motion for video. If you're ever panning with a subject or doing close-up B-roll shots, or you have a talent that's going from point A to point B in your scene, you need a fluid head. You're gonna need that to pan and tilt, but that's kind of it there. This is a ball head. You basically can twist this, lock it down. You have the ability to rotate that. So if your tripod is on an uneven surface, so say you have like a rock here or whatever, you can then adjust your ball head. With video, most of the time I'm vlogging or creating content just day to day, I don't need to pan and tilt. It's me just like setting a shot up, all statics. That's a good word, statics. So if you're shooting statics, or if you're like Craig Adams, you're out hiking, he doesn't need a fluid big head. It's just like, put your camera on here. It's probably a photo camera anyway that you're shooting video with, and you're just talking to it. It's just a way to hold the camera. Hair's looking decent. Uh, for those who care, my motorcycle is a 2004 Honda XR 250. 
It's a dirt bike, but it has a street legal kit on it. On a video tripod, if your ground is unlevel, there is this thing called a bowl. So this is a fluid head, like I said before, but it's it sits on this, what's called a bowl head. And it gives you a little bit of rotation. So really with the legs, you wanna get the legs as grounded as possible and even, but then with this bowl, you're able to make micro adjustments. So if we're sitting up on this Sharpie and you're like, oh, I'm a little off, you can, Turn this, lock it down. Okay, that's the gist of it. Fluid head, sitting on a ball head, whatever. Ball head on a photo tripod. Next thing, let's get the obvious one out of the way is price, video tripods are a little bit more expensive. You're getting more bulk, you're getting a little bit different head. Photo tripods like this one, which is my favorite, right around 300 bucks, even for the carbon legs. This thousand dollars for the carbon legs. Obviously there is a full spectrum of price points from any tripods. These are just kind of the ones I had to show you guys the differences. Three hundred dollars, thousand bucks roughly for that tripod. Benro, who owns me photo, they also have really good video tripods too. So check them out as well. The next point I want to make is payload. Now typically a video tripod can handle more weight because you're building it out with a pretty big rig. With a photo tripod, you're typically, maybe you got a small camera, maybe you got a big body photo camera, even with a fat lens, it's gonna be fine. These things are rated at like, this one I think is rated at like 17 pounds, which could hold the Blackmagic Pocket 6K that I'm shooting this on right now, fully rigged out. Um, but if you're building out a big rig, a video tripod is the way to go if you're trying to flex like Joshua does. Another obvious difference is just the size factor between a photo tripod and a video tripod. This is actually a pretty small video tripod. Sometimes you might see the middle with like a spreader. That just helps with stability. These are called single legs. Sometimes you'll see them with like three little legs that extend. This is way smaller and it actually folds down even smaller than, I mean, a lot smaller than this. And then you have ranges of other tripods, which I'll show you my favorite little tabletop tripod from Benro. This is kind of the, size I would much rather take on me with, on a trip, if it's going in my backpack for the day, if I'm out creating. Lugging this thing around is a pain in the butt. And even though this is technically smaller for its size, I'm always like, do I need it? Are we gonna have a car close by? You know, it doesn't really fit in a backpack. You can kind of strap it to the outside of one, but it's not easy. This is so much easier. So another main reason I typically bring this day to day for creating, um, is just the overall packability. Speaking of packability, check out this uh, little tripod rack I made for my dirt bike. Pretty cool. These are actually Moment, Moment branded Volley straps. Not bad. All right, we're gonna head up to a prettier area just so I can show you some features of this new tripod and honestly take some photos because the sunset should be pretty sick. Imagine me lugging my video tripod up here. You know what I'm saying? Nah. All right, so we have this nice view now. I'm gonna show you a few features of this Mi Photo Road Trip Pro Carbon. This video is sponsored by Benro. Benro sent me a box of a bunch of gear and I really do like their products. I can definitely uh, back them and recommend them for you. So if you are looking, check out the link in this video. little nugget. So in a situation like this where I actually forgot another tripod to set the camera on to set up the other tripod and show you, I did have another tripod because I brought the little Tabletop Pro carbon fiber legs. This is like probably the nicest mini tripod I've ever used. Tabletop Pro tripod with the X-T4 on top of it right now. So doing work. I'm gonna show you some of the cool features of this little thing. You already know it has carbon. I like it, lightweight. This is only a few pounds low angle, the bottom part, and inside you have mini legs. You can pull the stem out. It's pretty cool. Just like a, just like a little, little guy. You pull the middle column out. You can actually flip it in upside down and then you can shoot like top down shots. Cameras mounted right in the middle. Another awesome feature, if you notice, this is a rubber handle right here. 
you are now rocking a monopod. Then you take out the center column. Look at this. Now it's a full-size monopod. Bam. You can use this as a monopod. You could use it as a boom pole. It's just sick how light it is too. A GoPro mount on it and then, or another thing. I forgot, you could take this head off, just fully, spin this in, and now you actually have a very low mini tripod that goes like flat, flat. So look at this. See how, look how low that is. So I could mount this camera right on this if I want, which is rad. Make sure the legs kind of go around the edge of the head there. That's it. All right, light is fading, battery is dying. Thank you so much for watching. If this video brought you joy. If you've learned something from this video, please smash like or you like this type of learning content. Um, hopefully it helps you out, but it, yeah, it helps the video. Also make sure to hit subscribe if you want to because we are giving away money like you saw in this video every single month to a subscriber. We might not give it all in like one lump sum. We might break it up and everything, but we're giving away our ad revenue every month. And I'm excited about that to give back to the community, give back to creatives, help you guys make a living doing what you love. And uh, yeah, with that said, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. I mean, I couldn't get this shot right now without a tripod. 3000 likes, I'll grow the mullet again. Sorry, Ariana. I had to do it for the content. What do I do with that? What do I do with this? What do I do with this part rate? Right? Shout out to shout out to Beauty YouTube. At least I can part it. Hopefully this is at the end of the video. It's like really long. It's like the outro. And I'm like just showing you my bad haircut. Just because I had this idea of like, yeah, I want to get rid of the mullet and that'd make a funny intro of a YouTube video. I'm like, I'm just on salary. Is this even worth? Are these views even worth it? Hopefully this video pops, you know what I'm saying? All right, I gotta go. I'm gonna get in trouble.